top selling band, Transvision Vamp. She's now launched a solo career thanks to Elvis Costello, Wendy James. Nice to see you on the show. Hi. Listen, come on, a bit of applause. <laughs> Trying to get over the footballers. Listen, before we go any further, uh, this is. All right, enough. Before we go any further, this is uh, going to be your debut single out on February the 8th, written by Elvis Costello, uh, the nameless one. The nameless one, Elvis Costello. Now, how did you actually get to work with Elvis Costello? Um, well, we'd actually played a gig with him when I was in Transvision Vamp, and I think that was the point that I thought, if I'm going to make a move in another direction, that's somewhere where I want to be. And uh, a few months later, then I actually plucked up the courage to write a letter to him. And there was a good response to that, and he came back with not just a single, but a whole album. Well, was it actually a long letter, you know, Dear Elvis? It was quite a personal letter. I wasn't asking for anything specific. I think it was just one of those moments when you really don't know what to do, so you do something completely off the wall, and it happened. Did, did you sort of like write to pop stars yourself when you were a teenager? No, I n never even collected autographs, so this wasn't something I was used to or that was even in my nature. And, and were you surprised when he actually responded and sent you a tape of songs? Completely. His, um... The drummer from The Attractions, Pete Thomas, had phoned me up prior to my finding out and said, it's really good news, but we d you know, I can't tell you what it is. And then a couple of hours later, I got the news that he had written a whole album for me. And when I finished the Transvision Vamp tour, it would be there waiting for me. And if I liked it, then um, it was mine to record and have as my own. Now, obviously, you know, with him writing a, an album for you, were, were these songs that he'd written especially, or were they like old ones that, you know, he'd, he'd had over the years? They're most definitely songs that he wrote with me in mind, and some of them I take totally personal, and some of them are slightly more hypothetical, but gradually throughout the album there's a kind of track, a concept to them, and it, and it traces a certain period of time that you could relate back to me and whatever people have seen of me in Transvision Vamp, so it's fairly personal. Now, your image, obviously, with a Transvision Vamp, I mean, you're saying you just changed it slightly, but, I mean, you, you always had a very kind of thrustingly sexual image, in a way. Were you actually like that at school? All right. Thrusting, that's all right, isn't it? Thrustingly sexual. Well, you, had a, you used to have a writhe around on stage, didn't you, and stuff like that? Well, funnily enough, at school, I was very much the ugly one that nobody wanted to talk to or... It's the truth. All the, all the boys had nasty nicknames for me and they used to throw things in my hair from the back of the classroom. Well, like, like what? What did they used to call you? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, because I'm not kidding. I actually heard from someone who went to school with you that loads of the lads there fancied you, but they were too well, frightened of chatting rubbish. you up. that's rubbish. They thought I was weird. I know, but you just say that when you're a teenager, because if you fancy someone, you have to pretend that you don't. Especially well, whatever... <laughs> what? No. No, but you do, though, don't you? Whatever their motives were, I certainly left that particular school feeling you know, pretty much alone. <laughs> no, no you, after that you actually went to drama school, didn't you? No, I went to college and studied drama, but it wasn't a drama school. <laughs> I was, I was going through the whole CV here. No, but it was. It was pretty much that. So I went, to, I went on a drama course, but I actually stopped that in the middle when I met Nick, the guitarist from Transvision, and that was when I decided not to go through the education system any longer and mm -hmm. um, pursue music. Finally, if you make it big as a solo artist, will you, do you think you'll make if, it big? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, would, no, do you think you'll make it big if. over here or over in the States? I've no idea. I've no idea. It's been so long since we released, or I released, anything in England, I've no idea what people think of me here any longer. And I certainly don't know what America thinks, so all I can do is put the records out now and see what happens. OK, well, stay with us, because uh, we're asking you a few more things there. Uh, yeah, but when you're there, 
you're actually warned to stay away from certain areas, obviously. And accidents happen. You, you don't actually have to be involved in the gangs and what goes on. I know somebody that a friend of his actually got shot in the head just by stopping at the traffic lights because he was wearing the wrong T-shirt. Are you afraid that And he had nothing. He'd, just, he'd literally gone on a, to a tourist site of everything that was going on down there and he actually got shot and killed. Do you so think it's actually coming over here now, you know, with the shootings in Manchester yeah. and also South East London? Definitely. I mean, it's a natural progress and guns may as well be licensed now because they are so easy to get hold of and I really think these people don't realise they're still watching Clint Eastwood and thinking that that, and the, you know, it's death. <laughs> and it's ridiculous to see them talking with such pride, such macho pride, or the girls actually admiring that glamour. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about killing other people. Yeah. And, you know, England won't, England isn't that safe little island anymore. And people really shouldn't be persuaded by the fact that Uzis look sexy in LA because they're not. Yeah, right. I mean, it's a particular point as well uh, today. Uh, in fact, was a funeral of.